Libras, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your 10 day spread for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. I've got a lot of stuff on the website. I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, huh. Oh, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, and tons more. So um, keep in mind that these are general readings. These are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. Um, so be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos. So I'm going to start with the two bonus cards first, and then I'm going to go to the Rider Waite. So we got the Ten of Winter. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. So whatever you guys are addicted to or obsessed with or hung up on, it's going to be an end and it's going to help you in a big way. Now the Nine of Summer, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. So I feel like for many of you, you're already noticing that you dreams are coming true, things are going right. You've got new love, or you've got positive changes happening in your life for the better. Everything's going great. Go with it. Be happy with it. Stay on that track. Okay, so you've got the Knight of Wands upright. You've got the Six of Cups. You've got the Magician. You've got the Seven of Pentacles, and then you've got the Hierophant. Okay, so some of you were getting involved with Reiki, Reiki classes, Reiki courses, um, and then you stopped. Maybe it was a family issue. Maybe you didn't like the group of people who were maybe helping you with it for whatever reason, but it shows that you're going to return to it. Um, I do feel like for some of you, if you had a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries or a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio leave your life, it shows that this person will be coming back. So if they left your life, they're going to be returning. I do see that for a lot of you with this magician. Some of you are the magician. Some of you are able to manifest anything that you want as long as you're thinking positively. But um, I also feel like for some of you, you're just naturally, you have a gift of manifestation. So if, you, if, you, if you're thinking about something negative, it seems to always happen. Um, if you're wishing harm on someone, it seems to always, you always see, whoa, they, wow, they're, they really got in trouble. Or they're really, you know, they lost everything. So some of you have a gift for that. Um, and maybe you're not realizing it, but it's saying here that you need to realize what's up because you have that gift. So how about you manifest world peace or you manifest a million dollars for yourself or you manifest a successful company or you manifest, you know, love. So keep that in mind. So you guys are, you know, you're, the energy is very strong with this. The way that it's set up here, it's, it's almost like it's always been there, but now that you're aware of it, they're saying, you know, you really have to control it and have it go the way that you want it to go okay with the seven of pentacles and the hierophant some of you are looking for husbands or wives or your husband or your husbands or wives are looking um elsewhere um for those of you that are looking for marriage i feel like you're going to attract other people that want marriage so this i'm not talking to the people that have been in an on and off again 10-year relationship with someone who's married this is not who I'm talking about. What I'm talking about are people that are like, you know what, I'm gonna go out and date and date as many people as I can until I find the one. For those of you that are dating, give them back the balloon. We're going through the terrible twos. You guys don't like it, you can click off. So for those of you that are actually being proactive and trying to meet somebody and date and get married, like if that's the goal, is not just to date and you know, let's just see where it goes and I don't know and we'll have like, you know, like a six or seven year relationship and then move in together. Some of you are not willing to put up with that, so you're being honest. So with your so with your dating profile, some of you are um even posting it on your dating profiles that you're not looking for a cuddle buddy or a um, pen pal that you're in fact looking for marriage, I feel like that'll really, that'll really weed out some of the drama. Drama of the relationships that are, are gonna be coming your way. You're gonna meet like-minded people that way. Um, 
So as long as you're doing that, you're fine. For some of you, you work out of town or you work a lot or you ignore your partner. Some of you haven't had sex with your partners in years, months, weeks. And for those of you that, whoa, for those of you that are going through that, um, if you don't step it up a bit or get it together, it looks like your partner is gonna stray. I'm not blaming you for them straying. I'm not blaming anybody for that, but just um, heads up. You know, people have needs. All right, so guys, um, that was your 10-day your spread, jamiesieber23.com. Ta-ta for now.